Republicans apparently can't wait to work with Hillary Clinton. Sounds crazy, but I have quotes for you. So the Hill reports here. Senator Johnny Isaacson, a Republican of Georgia, is predicting that congressional Republicans will be more willing to work with Hillary Clinton than they have been with President Obama should she be elected. Quote, Barack Obama was some, somewhat of an unknown. He was a senator, but only for a year and a half before he was elected president. She is a known commodity, and I think there'll be more camaraderie in terms of working together than there might have been in the early days of Obama. Isaacson, who is running for re-election and has endorsed GOP nominee Donald Trump, added, quote, I don't think it will be like the post-Obama election at all. Hmm. Now, uh, they're citing him. They go on in the article to bring up, I think it's like two other Republicans who loosely agree. Uh, he is just guessing what the other Republicans will be like, but, I mean, it counts for something because there's a grand total of zero Republicans who ever said anything like this about President Obama. So it shows you that there's a chance that they're more willing to work with Democrats now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Well, it depends. I mean, it would be a good thing if the Republicans were agreeing to do liberal ideas. But unfortunately, as all of us know, when Republicans like Democrats, it's not because they agree with your ideas, it's because you agree with their ideas. So you have to be conservative enough, which is really, really conservative, for them to say, okay, you know what, not so bad. And that's a problem, man. So with Hillary Clinton, we've gone through the record before, but she voted for the Iraq War. She voted for the Patriot Act. She was in favor of deregulation. She was in favor of NAFTA. I mean, you go down the list and there are many right wing ideas that she supported. Now, in some respects, she's better than the right wingers. For example, when she pushed for and created the Children's Health Insurance Program, well, that's, that's a, a fantastic thing. So I'm not saying she's as bad as they are, but in many areas, she does just flat out agree with them, or at the very least, she did agree with them. And they also have the same donors. I mean, when you look at Wall Street, establishment Republicans basically, you know, burrow in the ass of Wall Street. <laughs> and... They make room for Hillary Clinton because she's been there for a while, too. I mean, we all know the story of fundraising from various special interests. The Clinton family has raised over $3 billion in their careers. I mean, that's on a whole nother level of corporate sellout. So they look at her and they go, well, I mean, I guess in some respects, I can do business with her. Now, think about this for a second. So in, in some respects, the Republican obstruction of Obama has been... Uh, a disaster beyond measure, trying to repeal Obamacare over 60 times, not filling vacant court seats, uh, you know, trying to tank the Cuba deal, tanking the immigration executive orders. So the list goes on and on in the ways in which Republican obstruction has fucked Obama and also fucked the country because there were many instances where Obama was right and they were wrong. But there were some instances where... Republican obstruction actually saved us. Now, I know you're thinking, whoa, 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 come on. That's, that's crazy, Kyle. No, there's two really clear examples. So one of them is Social Security. Uh, President Obama proposed a bill that cut Social Security and did the grand bargain. Uh, now, you don't have to cut Social Security, but they want to cut Social Security, the Democratic establishment and the Republican establishment. They want to do that. It was only because of an alliance between progressives and libertarian-leaning Tea Party members that we were able to, you know, stop it. Now, the, the Republicans who were against it, the Tea Partiers, they were against it for all the wrong reasons. Namely, they wanted the cuts to go further, but because of their obstruction, we actually didn't cut Social Security at all. So, it's just a clear example of where... You know, politics makes for strange bedfellows, and the far right and the far left, far left, I always feel weird saying that in the context of U.S. politics, they came together and they were able to block something that was really, really bad. Now, not only that, there's a, another area where an alliance between the so-called far left and the far right has been beneficial, TPP. So the only reason TPP is, isn't cruising through is that you have 
uh, members of the Progressive Caucus and uh, members of the Tea Party who who are like, no, I'm not going to do it. The Progressive Caucus doesn't want to do it because they know it's going to fuck over workers. They actually care about the people. The Tea Partiers don't want to do it because it's it's Obama trade and we don't want to give Obama no more power and we don't want to give him any more legislation that passes. So again, for the wrong reason, they came to the right conclusion. So there are instances of it working in the favor of the American people. With Hillary Clinton, well, that would be gone. If they're more willing to work with Hillary Clinton, if indeed what he's saying is true, what this senator is saying is true, well, then you could imagine a situation where uh, trade deals pass through easier. Like TPP, for example, I could imagine Hillary Clinton tweaking two or three provisions and saying, oh, I was against TPP, but now it's not the same TPP. It's a slightly different TPP. Now I'm for it. You can imagine her saying, I want to do the grand bargain. I want to be the great bipartisan president. And you, maybe you can get enough Republicans to go, hmm, totally, we're on board with that, if it's true what he's saying. Uh, now, here's my twist at the end of the story. I actually don't think it's true. I don't think it's true. Because the evidence is this. President Obama has, in many respects, just done Republican ideas, and even when he does those... The Republicans say, fuck you. <laughs> so, uh, think about it, man. Obamacare is a perfect example. That's their idea. Richard Nixon came up with the individual mandate system. He proposed something very similar to that. Then Bob Dole proposed it. Then Newt Gingrich and Chuck Grassley supported it. Then the Heritage Foundation, a right-wing think tank, wrote policy papers about it, detailing how it's their response to the left's idea of single-payer health care. So Obama proposed their idea, and he got a grand total of zero of their votes. So even when he does things they like, for example, he also cut uh, small business taxes over a dozen times in his first term alone. Somehow they were still obstructing him, and they were still blocking him, and they were saying, no, uh, we don't like this. He cut the deficit tremendously. I mean, he inherited a $1.4 trillion deficit from George W. Bush, and then he cut it all the way down to about $500 uh, billion dollars, and the entire time they've been fucking slamming him. There's been a net increase in private sector jobs by over 12 million under President Obama. There's been a net decrease in public sector jobs by hundreds of thousands, and they don't say, oh, hey, that's exactly what we like. Even though that is what they like, that's their ideology in a nutshell. So Obama's a very successful Republican president. The stock market exploded under him. Again, I think it's fake growth. I don't think that's necessarily a measure of the economic health of the country, because it isn't. But these are, these are the things that Republicans love to point to and say, this is a measure of success. And they're not saying it about Obama. So they're obstructing him when he's acted fairly centrist in his time in office. So what, if Hillary Clinton goes in there and says, I'm going to do a lot of your ideas, they're all of a sudden going to say, oh yeah, totally, we agree with her. They kind of showed they don't do that. So, I think that this guy is a clear example, Johnny Isaacson is a clear example of somebody who might actually think about the issues and go, well, no, I am a right-winger, I do believe in these policies, and Hillary actually agrees with me on many of these policies, so I don't see they're gonna, there's going to be as much obstruction. But I think he's projecting his own more nuanced view onto other idiot Republicans who are just going to obstruct no matter what. So, uh, I don't think he's right at the end of the day, but it is an interesting thing to think about.